Imagine if you walked into a store and they charged you a different price based on how you look or who you are or how much you make. Well, it turns out something like that is happening when you shop at some stores online. Have you ever noticed you're paying more than someone sitting right next to you? ABC's chief business correspondent Rebecca Jarvis with the revelation. Online, some marketers are changing the price in a flash to capitalize on how much they think you are willing to pay. We're kind of looking under the hood, right? And you can see, you can kind of see what they send about you. Wow. We discovered they're putting you into consumer categories with names like shopping addicts, frugal folks, high spenders, and then using some of this data to offer you the price they think you'll pay. They're gauging it by knowing where you live, what you buy, estimating how much money you make, all information collected from your history on the internet. We decided to put it to the test. Two world news producers, one pack of pens on staples.com, the price on her computer? 1519. And the price on his? 1379. That's more than a dollar less. And take a look at this. World News viewers from all over the country getting a variety of different prices for those same pens. The price of these pens is $13.09. $15.19 .09 in Dowry, California. The companies admit it's happening. Staples tells us if you find a lower price, they will match it. It's a pretty wide web. And uh, I think a lot of consumers would be fairly surprised to see that this is going on. I don't think this is fair. It doesn't quite make sense to me why you'd be charging me one price and someone else another price. I almost can't believe that a big company would do it. There's no transparency, right? So you have no idea that this is going on in the background. Just be aware that you may be targeted as a working class soccer mom, fashionista bookworm. Rebecca Jarvis, ABC News, Washington, D.C.